Hey dudes, today we're gonna to be doing a team training segment. We're gonna be starting out with some upper body training. So get ready, because you're about to get buff. All right, so I'm here with Ian. Uh, is this your first time in the gym, Ian? Yeah. It is? For how long? <laughs> For how long? Yeah. For first time ever. First time ever, okay, that's <laughs> perfect. So we are starting from scratch here, which is actually great, because now it's like a sponge, and it's ready to soak up all the water, or all the information that we're gonna throw at him. We're gonna start off with some pull downs because this is an upper body program right here. So we're gonna focus just on his upper body, start with pull downs, get that lat strength up, and then hopefully in the future, he's gonna start doing pull ups, all upper body. But first, we gotta start with the bare essentials. Okay, so now we're gonna get adjustment right on the bench. So go ahead and sit facing me, knees under the pad. Because what you wanna do is you wanna be nice and anchored in. So when you grab that weight, you can pull all with the lats. You don't have to worry about your lower body coming up or down. So does that feel about comfortable? Yeah. And let's scoot actually your upper body a little bit further in, or lower body, there we go, perfect. And we're gonna start out with a nice light weight because we wanna get that proper form. So even if it feels too light, we're gonna, and it's gonna feel like you wanna do some momentum in there, we're gonna actually just control it with the muscles even though it feels a little light. Okay, so we're gonna bring this down. You wanna get a nice overhand wide grip. So bring it all the way out, wider than shoulder, right there, perfect, good. So let the weight kind of pull on you. It's gonna give them a stretch on the last. Pull it straight down to the upper chest, right past the chin, and then pull it back up. Up, 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 get a nice stretch, good. Bring it down, pull the shoulders back and down, good, right there, and then right back up. Nice control, good. Pull it down, squeeze, and then extend up, stretch, good. Use the last, pulling it down, Squeeze, good, and watch the shoulder. Okay, good, okay, pull it down. Pull the shoulders down, squeeze those traps together. Right, good, and all the way back up. Good, I'm gonna grab the weight, awesome. Okay, so here's some tricks and tips you wanna do. So when you're doing this exercise, and you want to pull the weight, a lot of times your shoulders want to stay in that position, so it's gonna be your arms are doing it. See how my shoulders aren't even moving? They're kind of pulled forward, and it's actually my scapular, my shoulder blades, or pronated this way. So what you want to do is you want to retract the back. So as you're pulling down, you want to pull them down here and retract the shoulders back. So you're just pulling it back. So you're going to pull your chest up, pulling the shoulders down, and squeezing the shoulder blades back together. So I'm going to go a little bit lighter, so that way you don't even have to worry about the weight at all. And all you have to do is focus on the form itself. So I'm going to bring it down. Same hand grip. Good. So pull the shoulders. Yep, so we're actually coming to the front still. Yep. There we go, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Good, right there. Okay, now squeeze my fingers as you bring it down. Squeeze and back, chest up, excellent. See the difference? Nice stretch, pull it down, chest up, chest up, squeeze. Good, yeah. See as those shoulders, yep, pull it down, shoulders drop, squeeze, good, right through the upper chest. Yep, bring it down, squeeze those shoulder blades back, excellent, good. So now it's the lats working right in here. Pull it down and squeeze, good, nice and slow on the way up. Okay, you got it? Awesome, you just completed the lap pull now. Let's move on. Okay, and now we're onto the bench press. So to build that big chest, number one exercise is gonna be the bench press. And of course, of course in school, right? High school, people are gonna be, how much can you bench? Yeah. That's like the number one question. So now you're gonna be able to do, not only can I bench a lot, I can do it in proper form. And that's the most important thing is, right? So you ready for this? Yep. Okay, so you're gonna be lying flat. Good, yep. And you want to make sure those hips are nice and solid, right to the bench. You want to use your feet a little wider, right there, flat on the floor. Keep them nice and flat, so it's going to stabilize it. So you're going to grab it slightly outside shoulder, just like so. Good. So when you lower the bar, your forearms are going to be vertical to the floor as you're pushing out. So you get that nice straight up push right through the arms. So let's unrack it, and you can bring it right down to your sternum, keeping the elbows a little tight, and then push straight through. Up. Good. Nice and slow on the way down, and then push up. Good, that's it. Down, up, good, nice and slow. Control, down to the sternum, push straight through. Good, yeah, and up, good, yeah. So it's again, that nice vertical motion, that's it. Good, keep it going. Perfect, shortest distance to a destination is what? A straight line, Yeah. that's it, good. All right, we're gonna stop there, perfect. All right, now that you got a little bit of warm up, you got a good feeling, how does it feel? Good. It's pretty easy, yeah. pretty solid. So we're gonna add some weight on here. So that way you get a little struggle, but that's what it's gonna take. So as you add that weight on there, it's gonna put more stress on those fibers and that's what's gonna force them to grow. Because they gotta get stronger, because you're actually making them get stronger. Okay, let's do it. 
Because what happens is sometimes, obviously, beginning out, some, you know, the instabilities are still in the muscle. So when you're pushing, you can feel like once it's kind of a struggle here. So adding these clips on sometimes helps with that. So that way you don't have to worry about the weight slipping off is one side, it's kind of pushing more than the other. So a lot of people when they're first starting out, it's like, well, what's the problem is one side charming? It's not necessarily true. It's just your body is learning how to fire the muscles. So it's like the fibers don't, aren't really sure how to fire, right? Mm -hmm. So as you progress and as you do it, the fibers actually learn from the brain on how to fire correctly all at the same time to get a nice push for it. So even though if it doesn't feel that solid, don't worry about it because as you progress, it's going to get better and better. Okay, ready? Okay, good. Lines here, right outside, touching my finger, this one. Touch my finger, right there, good. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little lift off. Let me know when you're ready, good, good. yep. And down, push straight through, up, good. Remember, a little lower on the chest, more to the sternum, good. More to the sternum, right here. That's it, now push straight through, good. Nice and slow, control, and up, good. Slow, down, and then push straight up, 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 up. That's all you, good. Yep, one more, ready? And up, good. Now let's rack it. Excellent. You ready to move on? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Um, so what you want to do is make your whole body solid. So everything's going to be locked out. Your knees are going to be locked out, your hips. And to make it solid, your feet are going to be slightly wider than shoulder, so that way you get that nice solid base. Because again, your center of gravity is in your core, right? So this is what controls you. Helps balance you. That's why they say a strong core is good, because it's going to help balance you. And it's not only your abs, it's going to be your back too, your lower back. So as you raise the weight, your center of gravity is raising with it. So when you're up here locking out, you're gonna feel very unbalanced, right? Cause especially because everything's locked and you can't like bend and go with it. So when your knees are locked, you're gonna be taking the weight right here, about shoulder width, okay? So, yep, right there. So instead of flaring your elbows, keep them tight. Your elbows are gonna be here because you wanna get, again, that nice vertical push straight up. So you wanna get that nice straight up. So there's gonna be no, kind of motion and no back and forth, any swing and that kind. When you push that bar straight up, your, your head is gonna be in the way, right? Because the bar's up under here. So move your head back slightly, push straight up, and then push your head through as the bar passes, but keep your chin up. So don't push it here, just keep your chin up and push through. And again, the shoulder's gonna be pulling back slightly. Just walk it out. Walk, just like that, full walk. Good, and you're gonna squeeze the traps. Yeah. You got it. So we're gonna throw the bar on, we're gonna see how you feel. Uh, go ahead and face, sometimes it's easy to look in the mirror, so you can almost judge your form by seeing yourself. I'm going to give you the bar. So good, feet position good. Right there. Okay, so I'm going to give you the bar here. Excellent. Go right to the chest, right there. Shoulder tight, let's go a little closer. Right there, good. Okay. Knees locked. Hip solid. Straight push, move the head out of the way slightly, and then push the head through. Nice squeeze in the traps, good. Remember, use the core, now bring it down, nice and slow. Good, right there, good. Bring it up, straight up. Pursue, squeeze. Good, nice and slow on the way down. Excellent. Okay, yep. Straight up, push, squeeze. Nice and slow on the way down. Good, it's gonna be all in the shoulders. Everything locked, push the shoulders, squeeze, traps together, stabilize, nice and slow on the way down. Let's get two more, just like that. That's it, lock, nice and slow on the way down. Good, one more, one more. Up, 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 squeeze, lock, nice and slow. Perfect, good. Nice, it's all right. Okay, Ian, with a lot of the compound exercises out of the way, we're gonna move on to isolation exercises. The difference between uh, concentration, or excuse me, compound movements and isolation movements are gonna be compound movements are the use of more than one joint in the body. So let's say with a lot of pull downs that you started with, it's gonna be the shoulder, it's gonna be the elbow, it's gonna be a little bit in the wrist. With bench press, same thing, it's gonna be shoulder, elbow, movement. With the tricep extensions that we're gonna about to do, it's gonna be isolating the tricep, it's gonna be isolation exercise because it's just the extension in the elbow joint, right? So it's just that one extension, that one move. So that's why a lot of people make a mistake of doing the exercise and they're letting that shoulder move upwards. So all of a sudden the elbow rises up and then they push down through there. So what happens is they create that momentum through their shoulder, right? So elbows flare up and then you use those shoulders to push down and then you're extending straight through. So with these ones, you wanna keep the elbows the only joint in the muscle moving at that point. So that's isolating that muscle. Uh, we're gonna go really light on these. And just to get the motion down, so you're gonna be grabbing 
kind of closer grip here, overhand, just like that, yep. You're gonna keep in those elbows nice and tight to the body. So that's the only joint moving is the elbow joint. Yeah, ready? So watch that, don't let it pick up. Yep, send straight down, good. Straight up, yep, nice and slow, control it. Slow, 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 and then right there, stop, and then right down, back down, squeeze, good. Slow, right there, send down, and squeeze, good. And that elbow joint is the only joint working in this exercise, meaning it's isolating those triceps. And it's building strength in those. So doing this is actually gonna help build strength in compound exercises like the bench press, because the tricep is the secondary muscle group working that. There we go, squeeze, nice and slow. Send down, up, good, let's get two more, bring it up, good, keep his elbows tight, and then squeeze, flex, nice and slow on the way up, and good, awesome. All right, how'd that feel? Burn, awesome. right here. Burn, right there. Looks like a horse kick, yeah. Oh, that's your tricep. All right, let's move on. So we're moving on to the bicep curls. Again, it's an isolation exercise, and it's gonna be just in the elbow joint, just like the tricep. But of course with the bicep, instead of extending that joint, the elbow joint, it's actually flexing it. So it's the flexion of that joint. It's gonna be again, straight up, straight down. Keeping the elbows tight, no movement in the shoulder, right up and right down. Good, see that muscle motion here? Excellent, good. Okay, so we're gonna give you the dumbbells here. You're gonna start with 12 pounds, bring it down, just like that, palms up, straighten that out, straighten the elbows, good. So that's a perfect, nice flex position. See right there, or excuse me, not flex, it's the stretch position. So when your bicep is in that stretch position, it's stretched out, and it's gonna take more effort to pull that weight up to the top position, bending right in the elbow. Okay, so flexing the elbow, pulling up, squeeze, right back down, nice and slow. Slow, let the bicep control it. So again, concentric, flexing, go ahead. Up, and then slow on down, slow, eccentric. So it's tearing those fibers each way. And full benefit, nice and slow, good, yeah. Keeping those palms up, perfect. So another big mistake some people make is not going all the way down or extending. There we go, now you get the full stretch. And now you bring it up from there. So from that full stretch all the way down, the bicep has to work harder to get that weight up to the top position. There we go. Bring it down, full stretch in the biceps, good. Now nice and slow, bring it up. Squeeze, nice and slow on the way down. Good, the bicep's working, it's working over the lower down. It's not used to this. There we go, yeah. Slow. These sleeves aren't gonna be fitting you for much longer. That's what you always gotta be thinking. Visualize. Yeah, there we go. Stretch, read up. Nice and slow on the way down. Excellent, good. That, the bicep curl. Nice and simple, right? Have to be. It just, you just keep it really simple, and that's what, of course, me and Hudson are all about, is keeping it as simple as you can. Not where you have to overload your mind, and you're all of a sudden you're kind of thinking about this and thinking about that, and then you're like, well, shoot, I just, I'm now demotivated. I don't even want to be here because I have so much on my mind. I can't even concentrate on the damn movement. So when you keep it simple, and all of a sudden you program your brain to fire the muscles like correctly, and then you just come in here as the matter, just push as much weight as you can, the proper form, bring that nutrition in, and then all of a sudden, building like buff dude physique. Yeah. All right, we're gonna do some shrugs. So it's gonna work on those traps. Good thing about the traps is they're a huge muscle group. A lot of times people think the traps are just here and here. They're actually, this is just the upper traps right here. Then you get the middle traps and then you get the lower traps that run right along the spine. So to build those traps, you can build a lot of strength in the back too. Not only for, um, it's gonna help pretty much stabilize the shoulder joint, but it's also gonna help obviously with that nice look to the back. So we're gonna do some shrugs which are really simple. So again, a lot of times people want to go heavy right away. They want you to grab the heaviest weight and be like, oh, heavy weight equals big muscles. But they're not doing it right. And then all of a sudden the muscles aren't growing because of it. They get, and then they get upset because nothing's happening and then they stop working out and then they get no results. So with this one, we're gonna go a little lighter. Make sure you get that proper form. Make sure those muscles benefit as much as they can. So one thing is don't roll it. A lot of people want to roll it. It's put too much pressure on the spine. It actually could injure you. So you want to just bring those, imagine you're bringing your, your shoulders to your ears. Right there, so just come up as much as you can, get a squeeze, and don't, and again, don't bend the elbows, so just straight up. Get a nice squeeze, flex, and then bring it down, good. Slow, squeeze, flex the muscle, bring it down nice and slow, good. You wanna get a nice burn in these. We're gonna try to hit higher repetitions with these, about 20 reps, at least starting out here. Get that nice burn, get that nice muscle activation. Squeeze. So this exercise, we're really gonna concentrate more, a little bit more on the upper traps, but that's okay, because there's some exercises that even a lot of pull downs are gonna hit the traps as well. 
But again, this is isolating that muscle right here. Squeeze, bring it down nice and slow. Good, bring it up, squeeze, that's it. Come up as high as you can. And let's get a slight pull to the top too. So bring it up, squeeze, hold, and then slow on the way down. That's it, good. Yep, to get that nice tempo, you almost get a nice groove going, right? To get that nice one count, two count, down, one count, two count, good. Up, squeeze, and then down. Nice and slow, good, let's keep it going. Squeeze, and good. We're gonna stop there, perfect. You can go ahead and drop those. Nice, how'd that feel? It's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's hard. It's a little harder. But again, it's kind of like, it's, it's a short movement. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, it's, it's gonna be difficult, obviously, the amount of weight you're doing. And now you can progress. A lot of times, let's say you're, you have a hard time with your grip, yeah. sometimes. So you gotta, you gotta work up your grip, and these are gonna help with that. So obviously, the more you use your grip, the more it's gonna grow, and the more strength is gonna come through. Uh, if you have a difficult time with grip, sometimes you just use straps. Mm -hmm. So that way, you don't want your grip to kind of hold you back. Mm -hmm. But you never want to neglect your grip either. Because a lot of times people go, well, my grip, and they'll use straps like their whole career, like them in the gym. But then their grip suffers because then they can never do without straps. So now that you want to do, you want to try to work through, so let's say even your forearms start burning out before your traps do on an exercise. Try to work through as much as you can, even if you have to just drop the weights because your grips go up. That's going to build strength in that grip in those forearms. That way, all of a sudden now, you don't even have to worry about your grips a year later and your traps reap all the benefits after that. Yeah, so it's, again, it's that nice slow progression. Okay, okay question. Now we're going to answer this for Ian. So, how often do I need to come in and do this workout? Okay, so since this is an upper body workout, it's depending on, obviously, training specificity or what you want to build. So, if it's your goal to build a big upper body, obviously, you want to concentrate up your body a little bit more at this time. So, you're going to be coming in three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, concentrating on your upper body. But what you want to do is not neglect your lower body. Even, let's say, my legs are okay, I feel good with them, I don't really need to build them too much, but you still want to work them out because obviously you never want your upper body to outshine your lower body. So you still want to do your lower body a couple times a week, make sure you're getting those heavy squats or heavy deadlifts because what happens is doing your lower body is going to help increase your upper body look as well, right? So three days a week, hitting it nice and hard, just starting out, continue this program for around a month, maybe a little bit more, and then slowly switch up the program, adding a little extra lifts in, a little extra volumes, more sets, more reps, more weight, Again, it's always changing up, making sure that body's kind of guessing, and also keeps it interesting for you too, right? Mm -hmm. So you come to the gym, you're not bored with the same exercise, you're like, well, God, I've done this like 100 times, I, I, what do I do now? So, I mean, the slight change can add all the difference in the world. Instead of doing barbell presses, you can do dumbbell presses. Instead of doing flat bench, you can do incline. Mm -hmm. So again, you always kind of want to keep track of the muscle, how it's growing, how it's progressing, and how the strength is progressing. So let's say your lower muscles and your, and your fibers and your chest are growing a little faster than your upper chest, what you want to do is now concentrate on the incline bench, which is going to concentrate more on the upper fibers of the chest, the clavicular portion. Uh, so it's always that, it's kind of, that's what keeps it so interesting, is you always kind of track everything. You can take before and after pictures, so you take pictures of yourself now, you track your progression through that, you do either weight, body fat percentage, obviously you don't really have to worry about that, but uh, measurements, your arm measurements, shoulder, chest, legs, and so then when you work through the program, you can always log it and say, years later, look back and be like, God damn, yeah. I mean, I made some major gains, so. That's what the most important thing. Again, keep it simple. All right. Awesome, man. Good job. Cool. But this is you're actually not bending your knees. You're going to keep the knees pretty stationary. So you're going to be slightly bent, but you're going to lock them out in that position. And then you're going to take the bars, or in this case, the dumbbells start now. And you're just going to keep it here, and you're going to pull it up from that motion, hinging back. So your hips pushing them back. Hips are going to be flexing to bring the weight down, and then you're going to be extending the hips forward, just like so. 